Welcome to the Henry Ford Radiation Oncology Residency Program. We thought we would put together for all of you a more casual video that gives you a better feel for all the wonderful people that work in our department and just some of the rooms and some of the setup that we have for training. Um, our program really, I think it's a wonderful place to be. Our residents really love it. We are great advocates for our residents as well and we've always looked at them as our colleagues. They are an integral part to our department. Please enjoy, welcome, and we look forward to receive your application, as well as um, meeting you in person, hopefully in the near future. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Eleanor Walker, and I am one of the attending physicians here in the Radiation Oncology Deport Department at Henry Ford Health System. I am the Director of Breast Radiation Oncology. And what do I think about this program? I think it's a unique combination. Um, given the large size of the health system, we work very, very collaboratively together. And I think as a resident, if you want to do research that entails another department, it's very easy to just pick up the phone and talk to the senior staff who may be able to help you with that research project. Also, I think you have the unique opportunity in our department to learn about integrative medicine practices and integrate it in the care of your patients. Many patients use it and they don't tell their doctors. In my role as the medical director for the Center of Integrative Medicine, I make sure that this becomes part of your training so that by the time you finish, you'll feel comfortable talking to patients and also referring them for integrative therapies. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, my name is Farzan Sadeki. I am the Vice Chair of Radiation Oncology here at Henry Ford Hospital. Um, as you may or may not be aware, Henry Ford Hospital has a very strong presence in Metro Detroit, established in 1915. We're celebrating 105 years this year. Uh, we have had a very strong history and tradition of the Radiation Oncology Residency Program also, dating all the way back to the 1970s. Consequently, we have a very large alumni base for all our residents. We've had our graduating residents uh, take jobs after graduating in, in private practice as well as academic settings, both in uh, large health systems such as Henry Ford or Cleveland Clinic, but also in established universities where they are involved with clinical and basic sciences research. One of the strongest uh, points about our residency program that I would like to highlight is the options for residents to participate in research based on their interest. We have a very strong clinical research base with uh, some of our residents actually having written up and conducted successfully clinical trials. Uh, people who have a basic sciences background, such as a PhD, are able to indulge in basic sciences research. Now we have a strong radiation protection and a gene therapy program that they can get involved with. And of course, we have a very strong radiation physics base that allows them to do research in radiation physics. So uh, we're, we're very happy to talk to you more about these options and we, we really appreciate your interest in our residency programs. Thank you so much. What is unique about our program is that most of our faculty and staff are passionate and dedicated towards residency education. We love to teach our residents so they can take the best care possible of our beloved ones. We love to mentor them in research so they can further advance cancer care uh, to improve outcome for our patients. We provide all the resources to them to ensure their success. I'm very, very proud to be part of Henry Ford Hospital Radiation Oncology Residency Training Program. And I'm very, very fortunate to work with a wonderful group of residents. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Daniel Chapman. I'm the PGY2 here at the Henry Ford Hospital Radiation Oncology Department. Just wanted to briefly share a few things that really uh, drew my attention to the program and brought me here. Um, early on, being the PGY2 here, I have found it to be a very seamless transition into the field, uh, which was really attributed to the staff here from an attending standpoint, the nursing staff, therapy staff, everybody involved is very instrumental in helping it be an easy transition for me. I originally noticed it when I did my uh, month-long away rotation throughout medical school. Staff is very relatable, easy to get along with, yet also very uh, instructional and informative. They provide a really uh, good environment for us to learn here. So it's been a wonderful experience transitioning early as a PGY2 resident. 
Hi, my name is Evan Leung. I'm with PGY4 here at Henry Ford Radiation Oncology. Uh, part of the reason why I chose to come here uh, was I recall on my interview day uh, that the lunch room, that the, the table that we're eating on was actually a table that converted into a ping pong table. Uh, and I thought that was really uh, just a reflection of how much the, the, the program values taking care of its residents. Uh, it's just a little bit of an extra gesture. Um, but I think it just really exemplifies how uh, from the top down to the bottom, everybody's uh, interested uh, in the what residents' well-being. Hi, my name is Eric Schaff. I'm a PGY3 here at Henry Ford. And I wanted to comment on the culture of the uh, institution as well. Um, like Samang, I also did my transitional year here. Um, and even up on the, the busy floors, the attendings always took time to teach. Uh, and it was a great place to learn as well. Um, everyone's very nice. You never have to be afraid to uh, talk to attendings, ask for you know, on-the-fly teaching, even from people that aren't necessarily a part of your service. So I thought it was a great place to learn from that standpoint. And then as far as the culture in our department as well, everyone gets along very well. It's something I noticed from my first interview here. Um, and all the residents, we work very well together. We have a nurse practitioner and advanced practitioner coverage for inpatient consults during the week, which helps with our protected time for didactics. So when you have protected blocks for learning, they're actually protected. And I think that really goes a long ways with our education here, which is really the whole point of residency is, is learning um, as well. So. My name is Aaron, I'm a PGY5. One of the things I really love about this program uh, is our didactics, which are both resident and attending led, uh, depending on the subject and depending on the topic. Um, kind of laid back, but we do get the opportunity to have some interactive discussions. Uh, we all come prepared knowing that we need to know the material pretty well beforehand, uh, which gives us the impetus to study well. Um, and as well, we also have the radiation biology and physics didactics uh, in years one and two. Uh, which are really great. We do a lot of practice questions during those didactics uh, to make sure we could apply our knowledge uh, to questions. And those are led by uh, radiobiologists and physicists who are clinically active in our department. And so we could see them throughout the day and be able to talk to them uh, about stuff that we're actually doing in the clinic and apply that to our knowledge. Uh, we're also hoping to move into our new cancer center uh, across the street later this year. We're really excited about that. That's going to give us uh, more machines to use, it's going to give us a lot more clinic room, it's going to give us the opportunity to collaborate with medical oncology, surgical oncology, uh, really be more of a collaborative multidisciplinary group uh, trying to, to serve our patients in the best way. Hi, my name is Siming. I'm a PGY3 in the program. Uh, radiation oncology is, is a technology heavy field where we have to interact with computers on a daily basis. Um, fortunately, the department has invested a lot of resources um, for, for our uh, use um, and they have made our uh, lives a lot easier when we do contouring or treatment planning on the computer. Um, in addition, for EMR we use EPIC system and for radiation oncology specific tasks uh, we do use, uh, use, use the uh, ARIA system provided by Varian. Both of them are very user friendly and easy to use. My name is Andrew Cook. I am uh, the, one of the fourth years in the program here. One of the uh, big pluses of our program are the research opportunities we're able to get involved with, whether it's clinical trials, uh, a lot of retrospective reviews we can do. We also have a very robust physics program that you can get involved with here. Um, and also, one of the other things that I wanted to highlight in the program is our excellent didactics. Um, we have them uh, every week. We have protected uh, time to do those. Um, so plenty of time to study um, and keep us on track uh, with learning everything from physics, rad bio, to um, also our clinical didactics. Hi, my name is Gail Rund. I'm an RN here in radiation oncology. I've been here 21 years now. Um, I find that having the residents here is an invaluable asset to our department. Um, it, is, it is a pleasure to have them all working here with us. Um, it, it's, it's a unique experience as opposed to some of our satellite locations where we do have the residents with the staff positions. Um, they are invaluable to the nurses. Um, it, is, it is a good program to see how they do rotate through with the different staff positions and as they learn each um, area uh, of specialization um, and watch how the staff physicians uh, you know, teach and guide them. So they are a wonderful asset to our department. 
an, another great part of having the residents here that they have uh, very uh, unique and wonderful personalities. Uh, we have a lot of fun with them. Um, they are really a pleasure to have around and um, I couldn't imagine being in the clinic here without them.